There are numerous reasons for moving to the cloud, but the first question a stakeholder or you must answer is why? Hi, my name is John Lee. Uh, I'm a chief architect at Baskin Global. Have an answer that addresses the specific company pain points, you know, rather than just a stock answer such as cost savings and industry trend and such. The answer should clearly rationalize the strategy and tactical roadmap for both implementation and the roadmap itself. The key success factor is to create a quick win. The initial project should be small and agile and non-business critical. Ideally, choose an existing SOA-friendly on-premise solution that can integrate with the other services via RESTful API. Start by adding a cloud-native async service that is stateless and typically read-only service, such as retrieving a product information. At a higher level, we define the requirement as P3T2. Uh, that stands for philosophy, people, and process uh, with tools and technology. The synergy combination of this is how you really need to answer the question of why. The philosophy is the vision. The vision could differ between the leadership and the developers, but the core value of the vision should always be the same. The traditional software development processes and tools really segregates the roles between developers and the operations themselves. The developers write code in degree of isolation with limited understanding of the operation requirements. The cloud-native development turns the monolithic development process really on its head. For cloud-native development, uh, programmers uh, really must be cognitive of the deployment models, uh, along with performance and scalability attributions. These are the first order consideration along the line of infrastructure as a code. With the natural evolution of cloud microservice implementations, uh, the logging and audit can be an acute challenge. The compliance requirements such as HIPAA, HITRUST, SOC 2, GDPR, and other country and regional specific regulations needs to be factored in with the design and development. Uh, retrofitting these requirements as an afterthought will add a next order of complexity.